December 25th, 10 in the morning, right in loco offices. Right in loco offices? Yep. So low works there now? Yep. It's no longer a law office, but a car office where they imitate crows? Yep. Neat. Christmas episode <laughs> released in September or something or October, I don't remember. <laughs> Somewhere around there. Hey! Hey, Nick! Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Well, waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick! Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. What's this other voice? She looks like that. <laughs> it's a smiling face. You don't have to interpret it as a seductive face. But she has her eight eyebrows like. <laughs> That's not a normal smile look. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? <laughs> of course. Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Ground Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but <laughs> them's the brakes. What does that <laughs> mean? Couldn't t you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea! So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news. A large, unidentified animal. Hey, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, you got something in your throat. <laughs> buddy, you're on the news, you got something in your throat. <laughs> what he was trying to say is that there's a large, <laughs> unidentified animal at Gord Lake. <laughs> Why did you hate that voice? <laughs> you got something in your throat, pal. The town's buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy and a tip of a hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Although its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. <laughs> Dude, gonna be okay? What the heck? <laughs> They show real news for a change. Sitting in his office alone, watching TV, and he's going, ah, boring! <laughs> like, how bored does he have to be? Phoenix performs for himself. Nick! <laughs> Tim Allen broke into the office. <laughs> Pressure's kind of low in that shower. Throw something in a trash can. You want more pressure? Huh? <laughs> what does that mean? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with a hose? Oh, Phoenix has had too many beers. Good idea, Nick! Apparently, Faye Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. <laughs> well, we interrupt this program to bring oh. you a special news bulletin. <laughs> the strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gosh. <laughs> Gord! 
lake again? <laughs> the body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. The suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department reveal that the suspect's name is Miles Hedsworth, age 24. <laughs> Edsworth was an up and coming prosecutor. Sorry, sorry people. Well, we're going to get him to a doctor. Uh, Edsworth was known for his skill and his connections. I need this job! He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career, unlike this guy over here. Has he thrown it all away? Felix is dying. He's like so surprised. <laughs> Edgeworth's death or shot or whatever. E Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like. Nick! Yikes, Maya! <laughs> <laughs> the fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that! They arrested Edgeworth! What? What do you mean? The prosecutor? Yeah! He's a suspect in a murder! What? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I, I don't know! Let's go find out! Nick! Wow. <laughs> well, they not shatter every glass in the building. <laughs> well, Phoenix was bigger than the outside where she should be too. <laughs> Nick was like drunk, I think, watching TV. <laughs> At 10 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> he had a rough night. Looks like... It's cleaning day again and at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planning a second branch outside the city. I can see the bellboy getting the angle of that screwdriver in the drawer just right. What? <laughs> okay, he's drunk. I don't want to look at anything else. <sighs> Could we visit Edgeworth or just go straight? We'll make this decision. <laughs> December 25th, Gord Lake Park in Torrance. This is where it happened. Yeah, Gord Lake. <coughs> It's in the middle of this park. You gotta put down those cigarettes, Ace. <laughs> I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. <laughs> oh, is that your one? I didn't read that. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what would you say, Phoenix? <laughs> You're not gonna say your life. What you find? Hey, isn't that... Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal, there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? S -s Sorry, sir. Nothing. <laughs> All right, Detective Mickey. <laughs> Get out of here. The trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. B -b sir. Is that low? <laughs> kind of sounds like that. There weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. Shut up! Just you try saying that again. I'll, I'll, I'll make you sorry if you do. So just, just get out of my face, pal. Y yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruits pet. Ah! Ah! Hey, 
You're that hairy guy, hairy butts. R right! <coughs> <laughs> Phoenix, right! <laughs> hey! <laughs> what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Uh, um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. <clears throat> Ask me anything you want. First Bring it! Oh, fuck my god. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. <coughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you don't say. I guess we should go talk to him. The December 25th in the detention center. This Tar's room. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess <clears throat> it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. This what is he embarrassed? <laughs> ah! <clears throat> Hey, Edgeworth, <laughs> come back! What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Wait, is this story going to be about getting Christmas cheer back even while in jail? Yes, <laughs> exactly. How did you predict? <laughs> Were you in a good mood when you were in here? So, you've come to laugh <laughs> at the falling attorney. Then laugh! Laugh! Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? I want to laugh. Nah, it's a trick. Laugh, and he'll get mad at or burst into tears. <laughs> Terrible visitors. Edgeworth? We don't have... S <clears throat> ah. You have something in your throat, right? <laughs> we don't have so much free time. We can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. <laughs> we only have a little bit of time for that. Hmm. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. He's got a point. Phoenix was sitting in his office laughing at the TV. <laughs> Calling it boring. I hope you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either. Believe me. It's worth... Tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're gonna help you! That's what! Mm -hmm. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! Sure, you got lucky and won all three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick! He's insulting you, Nick! Let's laugh at him! <laughs> Why am I always the one who has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes, late last night. The lake is a long way away from your offices at in the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth, you, you didn't really. 
Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy! What's that? Uh, I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? This dark monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch since I came in. A real pro. Or maybe he's just nervous with Edgeworth in the room. Uh, he's a mannequin. X is present. Your attorney's badge? I haven't played in like two years. Edgeworth! Let me defend you. Ha! Ha ha! Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. Wh what do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never! Wh what? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lacked confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it! Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You, in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Couldn't he just present himself? He's a lawyer. <laughs> I present myself. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, what were you probably you showed up and then you like disappeared for half an hour. It was weird. <laughs> Do you know what happened here? Huh? Uh, you don't know, pal? No. Wow. Okay, Mr. Head and the Puffy Flink Clouds <laughs> Lawyer. Head in the... Uh? <laughs> Look, never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. Uh, in that boat, there were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. Uh, and the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get there so fast? Uh, well... There was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A, a witness? You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right! Who cares what the witnesses say? I care! Mm. You really believe in him, don't you, Detective? Of course I do. But uh, the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even taking this investigation very seriously. Oh no! After all that help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. It, is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. 
you defended him and lost, your reputation would suffer once more. <laughs> <laughs> the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal! Don't tell me you're gonna turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I, I, I know! I went to Edgeworth. I tried! He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. <laughs> Who was this witness? Er, uh, sorry pal, that's confidential. Uh, anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's right, tomorrow. <laughs> Isn't that fast? It's pretty fast, that's how it works in this country. Was there only one? that one witness? Yep, it was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve after all. Still, we're being thorough. Why aren't like any of us celebrating Christmas? How can you celebrate Christmas when there's been a murder? And shouldn't there be a Christmas tree in the jail cell? Why is your voice different, Maya? <laughs> you never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, instead of celebrating with our families. <laughs> so far, we've come up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today! I forgot! What? What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? <laughs> You have early onset Alzheimer's. <laughs> What's wrong with this world? Talk to Santa. That's mean. Detective Gumshoe, sir. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the anxious of the what? police all along. What? 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 <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, sir. Did you find something? Um, no. <laughs> Not yet. It's, it's a different, different voice guy. <laughs> Why are there only nasally pipsqueaks in this police force? <laughs> Crimes happen all the time. But, but there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold... Uh, a briefing? <laughs> they want to hold a briefing? Is that what you were about to say? Yeah. Right, I'm off. I'm really bad at holding this Oh. Controller. Sorry, pal. <laughs> I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to talk to me about before I go? Yeah, I was at the time. <laughs> shoot, sir. Uh... You're not coming back, detective? Um, probably not, pal. So what should we do if uh, we have to something to talk to you about? Uh, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Directions to the police station received from Director Gumshoe. Oh, hey! Detective Gumshoe! W what? Um, we'd like to take a look around the park. Can we walk around? <laughs> Is he asking him, like, on a date to walk around the park with him? <laughs> uh, yeah, no problem, pal. <laughs> you got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, 
They don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right. Now let's get to investigating. I don't see anything I need to look at here. I get to look at the name. The sign says Gord Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. But no waterfall. Not many picnickers come <laughs> <laughs> for spiritual training, Maya. They should have Yogi Bear. Hey, hey, hey. I feel it's a Yogi wet. Bear. That was fat Albert, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I feel winter's coming from the bare leaf trees today. Well, it's Christmas, that would make sense. <laughs> <sighs> what is it about winter that turns people into poets? I think he's still drunk. I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. Yes, my poetry has that effect on some people. <laughs> she wouldn't uh, hear it so long. <laughs> I don't know how that line was weird. Is there nothing else to look at? Oh.